try like a little bit of a new segment here because we we get so many questions from you all and we want to take a second to be able to answer some so please continue to send your questions in whether that's like through the facebook community love in the chiba corona if you're not already in it now we'll name drop it here or if you just want to email us at hello at datablepodcast.com we get tons of emails but we're going to try to like pick ones that are relevant to the topic too just to bring it home so we actually got one that i think fits in super well with dating etiquette so you should we do just like a quick kind of q a with it So the question we've gotten, and we've actually gotten the same question from a few different people. It's, uh, I've been on a few bad video dates, okay? Mm -hmm. And so bad sometimes that I just want to get off the call pretty early, but I don't know what's proper etiquette. Is there something that I can say or do so it doesn't hurt the other person's feelings for trying Mm -hmm. to get out of a video date or getting off a video call? I feel like this with um, work meetings. How do I get out of the Zoom call? How do I get out early? It is a little harder on video dates because you see them face to face. On the phone, you could be like, oh, I'm cooking dinner or you can make up an excuse. But on video, it's harder to lie. So I would say don't lie, uh, but also don't be that honest. Like this is a terrible video date. I need to get out. I think something that I tend to do is just like, um, okay. I mean, like, it's been really fun talking to you. I'm tired now. I've had back to back work video calls. So if you don't mind, I would love to just, you know, get on with my night or go cook dinner or whatever your next activity would be. Cause it's just showing that it's not about them. It's really about just your day in general. I love that. It's like, Zoom fatigue. Blame it on Zoom fatigue, right? The other trick I have, this isn't great etiquette, but I'll throw it out now and then I'll go to my actual (laughs) one, is that my phone is about to die, which knowing me, it is a lot of times, but (laughs) probably not the best etiquette. But I think like etiquette wise... I think I see where this question is coming in because it's really freaking awkward to tell someone like, I don't want to, you know, like keep talking to you on a video on my couch where I'm doing nothing. Like Mm -hmm. I'd rather like go back and watch TV by myself than continue this conversation. That's Mm -hmm. a hard conversation to have if you want to get out of it. So I think like having some sort of plan, like I don't, I get that nowadays that we don't have as many plans lined up, but you know, things are reopening, you know, people are like, we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel with the pandemic. Or you could even just be like, I have my virtual sounding board event, or I have Mm -hmm. my virtual game night with friends, whatever it may be. I think there's many ways that you can kind of spin that. And having like some sort of exit plan, it also makes you more well-rounded. It Mm -hmm. shows that you're not someone that's just spending hours and hours and hours on video calls, whether you like them or not, Mm -hmm. but it also gives you that out. Yes. And to prevent this conversation from happening just in general is just set some parameters. I think there's nothing wrong with going into a video date saying, I get video or zoom fatigued very easily. So I would love to keep our video date to 30 minutes. Then, you know, at 30 minutes, everyone gets to get out. (laughs) You don't have to make up an excuse anymore. I think just setting the expectations from the very beginning, now that you know yourself well, is better than trying to make an excuse in the moment. That's a great idea because you could always have another video call or take Mm -hmm. it to real life if you like the person. And then if you don't, you have it out now. Yep. I think the other piece too is, I know this is like a little off topic, but the etiquette, like if you really don't find them a match and they follow up after, I still think the etiquette follows through. Like if this was a real date, like just tell them at that point, like that it wasn't the right fit. Like, I think you can like spin that in a nice way that they'll find their match. Like I'm positive that person's out there. Just, I don't feel like it's the right fit between us. I know people are hesitant to do that because it's virtual and all that, but sometimes you really can tell, like if you just can't hold a conversation with someone, there's nothing wrong with cutting out at that point. Just don't be like ghost and be an asshole essentially. (laughs) There you go. Hope that answered your question to a a lot of you that had the same question. (laughs)